Okay, so we are back and man, you know, what a time for combat sports. I have been slightly inconsistent of late. I will be back on it for sure. Just, you know, life, you know, um, it's a blessing, but also it's extremely busy. So I'm just trying to get back to, back on top of this schedule. And it's been a blessing because, you know, on one side, the combat sports has been flying in. We've had fights right, left and center. And man, it has been insane, but also incredible because so much to talk about, so much going down. I will cover it. So right now I'm just going to recap over a few things and get back on track. But first, we have another undisputed clash to look forward to this year. And that is between Dmitry Bivo and Arta Batabiev. And you know what? It's um, Turkey Alashek, he came out during the year five versus five to announce that that fight will be scheduled for the 12th of October. So really looking forward to that one. You know, hopefully Batabiev, his recovery, I believe it's to do with a, a meniscus or ACL, something along those lines, you know, and at 39 years of age, we wouldn't want anything to, you know, stop his um, continued development because, you know, this guy has been just constantly improving and defying father time. I was tipping him and I'm still tipping him to um, be the undisputed champion in that light heavyweight division come October 12th. So um, look forward to seeing how that one plays out. Hopefully we get there smoothly. However, that fight was postponed and Dimitri Bivol had a short notice opponent and he had to take on a game. Malik Zinad, who, you know, who was craving for an opportunity his name has been you know rumored around seeing that you know this guy you know he can bang and he can knock people out um so you know he uh, he came he came game he wasn't there to lay down he came to fight he came to make it awkward and uncomfortable and he tried to you know he tried to call Bevo's bluff and you know in a short notice fight it is very difficult to make those adjustments, but as you expect from a champion like Dimitri Bivol with his skill set, with his class, it was certain that he was going to get the victory on this one. However, he needed to make an exclamation mark. He needed to make a stamp. He had gone six years without a stoppage on his record and going into a fight where he was, you know, he was essentially preparing for, you know, the other champion in the division that, you know, is known as a crushing puncher with relentless pressure. He had to make a statement that he was not coming to play around that he was going to turn up on the night and do the business and he did that you know there were a few rounds as you expect where he had to figure out the slick tricky Malik Zinad who did a few nice things in there you know with that low lead hand his defense wasn't the best and that's ultimately where you know he caught he got caught you know um admiring his own work and Bivol was then able to let a few combinations go where you know Malik Zinab was single shotting and trying to get that one hit acquitted however wasn't to be Bivol classed made the adjustments and then ultimately put a bit more venom and tenacity behind what he was throwing and got Malik Zinad out of there and gave him his first career loss and stoppage so man that was definitely a statement and it just kind of sets up a mouth-watering prospect of you know when these two Bivol and Batabiev meet in the ring it is still going to be a very intriguing clash and a very intriguing matchup to see you know who will get the best of who on that one because you on that side you have the come forward pressure relentless crushing puncher like uh Arta Batabiev and then on the other hand Bivol you know he ha applies pressure in his own way and that is with just relentless volume but with you know very dynamic and elusive and and just um you know overwhelming movement and combination so it's going to be interesting to who's going to be able to impose their will so um so yeah so that was the announcement in the 5v5 looking forward to that Malik Zinad you know, congratulations to him. He got an opportunity and even though in defeat, he impressed and I am hearing he's going to be back and I would like to see him in and around, you know, some other contenders in that light heavyweight division to see re really where he stacks up. As you know, the light heavyweight division is full of talent um, and there's a lot of fights going on and they haven't really, really cemented their place in this Riyadh season just yet so we could see a few clashes amongst the light heavyweights in and around you know and and, and get a little kind of like elimination going between them because obviously off the back of the fallout of Bivol and Batabiev. I know it's rumored that Turkey Al Sheikh, you know, ideally would like the winner to face Jai Pataya. However, he is a cruiserweight, so it would be interesting to see, you know, what weight class they agree for that. But there is room for another contender to get back in the mix and get, you know, and get closer to um, an undisputed or just a clash for one of the belts, depending how that plays out. But yeah, anyway, guys, I will be back.